This is a Bavaria C57 sailing boat and it is vast. It's also very nice indeed. I need to show you this one. I think you're going to enjoy it. It's rather a spectacular piece of kit. I'm going to go right down the side of this one. I'm just going to show you the back first of all because one of the things this has, which is rather a unique feature, is it has a drop down transom. That in itself is not a big thing. A lot of boats have that now to make a bathing platform, but actually this one even has a garage inside it. So you can put your tender right inside the boat and it goes underneath the cockpit floor. So that is a very nice feature indeed. Let's head on. We'll head on to the side and we'll go and take the full tour. So I think we'll have a wander around the deck first of all. Now this has got the in-mast furling, so the mainsail is rolled up actually inside the mast and it pulls out as you can see just there. And a similar sort of thing at the front, it has a roller furling foresail and it's self-tacking. That's what this across here, this track here is. So very easy to sail and to rig. Let's get right up to the front because you do get a real impression of the size of this boat from up here. Look at that, it's massive, isn't it? Lovely decks, really open, very easy boat to move around. We'll head down this side. You can see we've got the big spray hood on this one as well. There is actually a bimini top and that's the fellow that's rolled up at the back. So if you're out somewhere hot and sunny, you can drop that forward and shade the helm. Let's come right in through here. That is that drop down bathing platform. You can see it up against the back of the boat. Obviously we are fairly tight for space in here so we couldn't drop that one down and show you. But you can see how you have steps down onto that platform as well. So that's rather nice. Twin helms, as you'd expect, and you have all the navigation gear then across here. This is the side power bow and stern thruster, electronic engine control for the engine, and the big wheels. And you can see how all the lines as well come back aft, and you've got these big winches here. These are power winches, so you can see the buttons for them. So everything is powered. It's a big boat. You need to be able to handle it comfortably, and that allows you to do that. So you can see the size of that rig from here. Awesome. Let's head on through. These hatches in the floor, incidentally, these actually take you down to that tender garage. You can just see it down through there. And this silver fellow is a fridge, cockpit fridge. Let's go a bit further. This is down as a sun pad, as you can see. Uh, you can have that as a table, so it's basically identical to the one on this side. And then you can configure that. You can see it's on a telescopic strut. That one is exactly the same. So that can raise up to be a table. That can drop down to a sun pad. You can configure that however you want. Jack the Sack is taking it easy in the sunshine on that one. Let's go inside and have a look. They've gone with a light wood in here. And because there are a lot of deck hatches and the windows that go all the way around, it feels really light and airy. Look at that. That is impressive, isn't it? Those little rectangular bits, incidentally, those are opening sections, so you can get some air through. And of course, all these hatches up here open as well, and they have blinds. So you can pull that across. That's a mosquito net that way. Pull it the other way, and it's a night blind. And you've got a big handrail here as well, so that if it's a bit rough and you want to move around the boat, you've got something to hang on to. Lovely seating area over here around this table. And you've got another seating area and in fact a pop-up TV as well. And this area here then will work as a chart table so you can sit facing backwards. That lifts up and you've got instrumentation and VHF and so forth across there. Ahead of this then is the galley area. These are big fridge drawers over here. Like so. And then you have things like storage dotted around the place like this. Microwave built in here. More storage everywhere, really. Obviously, on a boat of this size, it's the kind of thing you might want to escape on for a good few weeks at a time. So this will allow you to do that. Cooking over here. This is gas cooking. And that, of course, is a gimbaled oven, so that's something you can use while you're out at sea without needing to have a generator or shore power. More storage here, and then big sink underneath this one. 
And this again, loads of storage. I won't open every cupboard because I'll be here all day. But you get the idea. Very nice. What's nice as well about this is you can really wedge yourself into it. So if you're doing some cooking while you're underway or some washing up, you can actually get yourself wedged in there. That's ideal. Big mass step here. And then up ahead is the master cabin. Very good size, as you'd hope on a boat of this size, of course. And you've got the twin hatches up above. They open. And you've got concealed lighting all the way around, which is nice. Hull windows as well. And over here is the shower. And that pulls out from here. And then separate to that is the toilet. That's in this one. So again, spend a long time on the boat. You're not waiting for someone to finish in the shower before you can use the loo, which um, is a very nice feature. There's a dressing table here as well. And as you'd expect, you've got wardrobes and tons of storage around here and around here. Fantastic. Let's head back and look at the other cabins. That is a lovely area to come out into though, isn't it? How nice is that? Brilliant. Okay, so back here, you've got a cabin on either side. Both are en suite. So that's what that looks like. This incidentally, I think I'm right in saying, is engine access. Yeah, there we go. You can get to the back of the engine. We'll have a look at that in a moment. But people often say, well, we can't get to the engine very easily. Well, you can if you go in that way. There we go. En suite for this cabin is in here. Again, you've got the shower that pulls out in exactly the same way. And that's a bit of storage up in behind there. And then if we come round the other side, same sort of thing. Again, engine access, double bed, lots of storage in places like this. And the ensuite, and in fact this ensuite is slightly different because you'll see there's another door in through there and that makes it a day head, so that access is straight into the saloon area. But separate shower area in that one, which is nice. So that's a bit larger. Very good. So that's the door there. Into it from that side. And you might think, well then obviously, that door must do the same thing. Actually it doesn't. That is just a big walk-in cupboard so there we go impressive isn't it rather taken with that I think that's fantastic and I do think the light finish and all those windows just makes it so bright and nice in here it's gonna have a sit over here and I will say thank you to Clipper Marine who organized this tour for me I'll put their details in the description so if you want to contact them you can do and thank you as ever to you guys for watching. We'll catch you on another one very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.